Hello everyone, once again welcome to my OIT channel. Today we will have the introspection regarding the OIT exam note on 24 September 2022. So uh, today just we will have the case note discussion then at the end we will see the sample letter also. So let us start. Uh, as usual, they have given the assumed date. Uh, today's date is 8th January 2022. It is all whole year 2022 from January 8th onwards until now. Uh, the date of exam is same. Actually, um, before and all, um, they used to select the date of exam for the letter date, but now this is fixed like 8th January 2022. So, I just I want to uh, remind you when you will read the case note, first uh, just read out the first paragraph i mean what is the first paragraph they have given in the case note then you can move to the writing task because from there you will have a clear idea about your role so here they have given you are a nurse in a hospital where you have been treating an elderly female patient who is now ready for discharge so your role is the charge nurse and you're working in the hospital because most of the letters are uh, community health nurse so here anyway you are the hospital nurse then we will move to the writing task using the information given in the case note write a letter of discharge to the community nurse nursing team outlining the patient's treatment in hospital and her ongoing care needs so we are writing uh, the letter to the community nursing team and we are outlining that means in your letter you have to outline the what are the treatment she had received from the hospital and what is the ongoing care and needs Address letter to Ms. Ellen Quint, Head of Community Nursing and Carlington Health Service, 73 Grove Road, Carlington. So this is the writing task. So from here, we can uh, assume that this is a uh, unknown scenario, I mean unknown letter and uh, the letter is addressing to the community health team. So this is uh, like a nurse to nurse letter. So of course the present medical paragraph is important and even the last discharge, uh, I mean recommendation paragraph also is important in this case. So now we will move to the uh, the case note the, from the starting. So patient name is Beryl Boswell and bracket have given Mrs. And date of birth 19 September 1945 and age also given 76 years. So if uh, both date of birth and age is given, better you can select age. Okay, 76 years. Then um, since it is an unknown case note, so you, have, you should have social background. Uh, she is a retired hotel receptionist and widow. Then family history actually have given mother... Uh, disease uh, 87 years and father disease 68 with uh, pneumonia and uh, heart attack respectively but this and all no need for us medical history they have given many medical history in 2001 fracture right wrist 2016 hypertension uh, diagnosed 2010 hearing aids um, are fitted 2016 uh, right knee arthritis has started and uh, June 2021, arthritis in right knee moderate to it became severe and knee replacement surgery scheduled uh, for uh, this problem. November 2021, delayed uh, the surgery due to leg ulcer. So in this past, uh, past uh, history, actually we can write the hypertension and regarding the arthritis because this letter is related to the leg ulcer and this surgery has postponed because of this leg ulcer. So that data we can write that means from june 2021 patient have uh, moderate to severe arthritis i mean from 2016 we have to write uh, since 2016 patient has had arthritis and it became worse and planned for surgery knee replacement surgery but because of delayed um, leg ulcer wound i mean the leg ulcer management the surgery has postponed then the medication we have to mention for arthritis, she is on paracetamol whenever necessary and for hypertension, she is on amlodipine 5 mg daily. Then uh, regarding the history, so regarding our, our letter, uh, the history starts from 29 October 2021. So we know one history that uh, from 2016 patient has arthritis and uh, in June 2021 it became severe and plan for the surgery. In 29 October 2021, the venous leg ulcer patient has uh, one leak venous leg ulcer. It confirmed by Doppler studies. So patient has had venous leg ulcer since 29 October 2021 because now we are in 8 January 2022. So this is a somewhat old case. So we can write with the has had at the starting um, area of present medical paragraph. 
and this also we started it is present inside right angle and the diameter is 3.2 centimeter treatment with the compression bandage at home so with the advice of compression bandage at home patient got discharged and 3 january 2022 uh, patient complaints increased pain in right ankle and the ulcer is uh, not healing well. And uh, in addition, the patient presented with pallor and fatigue, light headedness. So they removed the bandage, and when they removed, um, she presented with the, the ulcer. And the characteristics are red, swollen, warm, and with high tem high temperature. She presented with a high temperature, and they suspected to have cellulitis, so they sent the patient for um, emergency referral. And in the hospital, three January two thousand twenty-two, she got admitted, and uh, cellulitis was confirmed. So they have start they have referred the patient to ward. So they have started um, some. Uh, medications so these medications are important in this case not so the medications are uh, so there was um, intravenous medications uh, mainly uh, fluproxacillin one gram four times per day for five days ibuprofen 400 milligram uh, three tablets per day omeprazole 20 milligram per daily i mean per day and right leg kept elevated by patient is a uh, bread and they um they have given now uh, the dressing also non adjournment to wound bed and padding to absorb exudate <clears throat> then uh, light uh, the bandage actually they have given the bandaging from light toy to knee and it should be changed every two days so within two days two days they have changed the dressing also then 6 january 2022 they have given uh, that patient has good progno uh, pro progress and the patient's eating and drinking also it became uh, better now before it was the patient was reluctant to eat because of the pain and all these uh, discomforts uh, retinas swelling fever everything started to decrease and patient encouraged to mobilize with the working aid so that is the important point patient started to mobilize with the working aid and gradually uh, uh, she can um, I mean uh, her mobilization became increased with the help of assistive device and she is ready for discharge today to home so today actually um, even though she she made a good progress uh, she requires some assistive services until her complete recovery so we are requesting the community nursing team to arrange a community uh, home visits not a uh, multiple home visits until her complete recovery so the recommendations are they have given under 8 uh, january 2022 then the discharge note uh, home with the community nursing support to assist with so the recommendations are reassessment of dressing as cellulitis improves and uh, patient tolerates return to compression therapy so that means uh, still uh, patient have problem uh, but her cellulitis is improving so she need reassessment of dressing reassessment of dressing and the compression therapy the bandaging uh, how to be continued assessment of pressure as a risk and um, uh, order appropriate equipment needed like cushion so that one also uh, we I can write and we have to write uh, with the uh, off note or please note or kindly note in the end of the present medical paragraph you can write uh, the discharge medication is oral before, before it was um, uh, injection now they changed to oral fluoxacillin uh, 500 milligram four tablets per day for seven days and uh, the plan is write uh, the letter to community nursing tip so that is what uh, we are writing uh, so this is the content of the <coughs> case note so here it is easy question there is not history nothing because if you see um, the many of the questions during 2022 in 2022 you can see that there were more there there were more twisting like hospitalization then home visit then we are writing the letter to the gp or uh, uh, any other specialist like that so you will have confusion from where we have to start from hospitalization or from home visit or today's uh, home visit we have to write first or whether we have to go to the um, uh, I mean the old data first like that but in this letter it is much um, easier than the before uh, I mean uh, the previous case no that means it is a straight straight letter that means it's nothing but discharge letter only from the hospital we are just uh, refer the patient to referring the patient to community health team it's like a home visit request only and another one more thing I want to tell you that uh, in some case note you can see that um, request home visit 
but in some case not they will not mention that it is a home visit but you have to assume whether it is a home visit request or the you are admitting the patient in somewhere like a nursing home or somewhere uh, but community health center means it will not be the admission so keep it in your mind um, if you are referring the patient to community health center like a nurse or her doctor means it is not um, admission because in community health center there will not be admission it is same like our primary health center that means you are requesting home care only so maybe it will be maybe the letter will be uh, for gp even though he has to know everything and he will arrange the community health uh, nurse service and here it is direct to community health nurse team so how we will uh, make um, in introduction you will not get more confusion in uh, present medical paragraph just you can start with um, uh, uh, the patient's name and has had uh, venous leg ulcer from 29 October 2021 and gradually you can write what are the presentations um, uh, presentations she had and why got admitted and what are the management they have given and uh, gradually how the mobilization has improved and in uh, I mean today what is the current situation then at the end you have to give one small conclusion that however she requires a continued care until her complete recovery. So most of the students may um, uh, get confusion why ma'am is telling uh, the recommendation sentence here in this conclusion. Actually, this is not recommendation. It is a conclusion of present medical paragraph. This is um, actually... Um, we can exclude uh, it's like optional if you want you can write or if you don't want no need to write if the letter rate is big the words counts are uh, like uh, above 200 means no need to write and in uh, non case also we can exclude uh, this conclusion but if you're writing in in this way I feel um, it is easy for the reader to have a sum up um, what is we are, because from the present medical paragraph from the starting itself we are telling a story and a story should have an ending so just if you give the conclusion it will be easy for the reader to understand easily that means example um, you if you have friends those who are preparing for exam OET exam just you can write one letter and give to that friend without case not if she or he can understand completely about your letter what is the uh, what is the uh, status of the, your patient and what uh, she requires or what she needs from you like a reader means you will get uh, B score I mean if uh, if your friend can understand completely what you are meaning means of course you will uh, your letter uh, will score B score but if it is incomplete or is she she is I mean the reader is um, not sure about what your meaning means it will go to C or C plus so this is an easier technique that's why I'm telling if you're if you're writing like a story means it is easier for the reader to understand what you mean or what you uh, what is your requirement for the patient of course in the recommendation paragraph you are going to write the re uh, requirements I mean the recommendations but uh, there it should be elaborate way here I'm just telling about a conclusion just within a sec within a sentence like therefore or thus or this is the reason for her referral something like that it's a simple sentence and uh, as I told you if the letter is big no need to write this one but if the letter is um, somewhat in medium size means it's okay fine you can write the uh, conclusion of uh, present medical paragraph in this area that means in the last part of present medical paragraph okay so i hope this case note is um, clear for you so this is the way you have to read the case note so for, by reading itself you have to make a story so now it's uh, i i think it's clear for you we will just start from the hospitalization and the presentation what is the man the confirmation how you confirmed and what is the management you have given and uh, now what is the status of the patient so that is only it will come in the present medical paragraph and social paragraph it is easy for your recommendation paragraph also it is given so just you have how to write it in with the format so this is this letter actually it is easy uh, so like this only you have to read and uh, fix the uh, case note uh, you have to read and fix it in your mind and make a story just you can write it in a rough paper like only the short notes then again when you will uh, come to the uh, letter part it will be easy for you so we will see the sample letter so we will see the sample letter so we will start with the date uh, 8 january 2022 and with the address miss Eileen quint head of community nursing uh, carlington health service 73 grove road 
uh, Carlington. So this is the address and uh, we will go to the salutation dear Miss Queen regarding Mrs. Beryl Boswell aged 76. So as I told you instead of date of birth always it's better to write the age. It is easy for the reader to understand the age. Then we will go to the uh, introduction paragraph. So as uh, everybody knows introduction paragraph should contain mainly two things. The first one should be with the patient's recent present condition second one should be the requirement so here the condition is recovering from cellulitis and the requirement is like ongoing care or continuing care and you can write uh, with the assessment and management ongoing assessment and management or uh, continued care with the assessment and management or continued assessment and management whatever so nothing but it should be like a ongoing care or continued care so we will write in this way i am writing to request home visits for because it is a home visit pure home visits uh, home visits uh, for Miss Boswell who is recovering from cellulitis in right angle so you can just mention the area also she requires continued assessment and management following her discharge today so you can modulate um, the way of presentation it's like I am writing to request or uh, I am um, I am writing to introduce or whatever as you wish you can just start the sentences and then we will go to the present medical paragraph so so during the case not um, explanation what i told you we can just start with the arthritis because this arthritis is closely related to this uh, condition because the surgery has postponed it because of the leg ulcer and uh, now it became cellulitis as a secondary complication so we will just start like this mrs boswell has had always remember if you want to write something like old history with the date uh, or with the time period please mention with the has had or else you can just write with the has so mrs boswell has had right knee arthritis since 2016 and was scheduled for knee replacement surgery for november 2021 so this is a starting we will just write uh, regarding the arthritis we will just started with arthritis and planned for surgery then we can write however the uh, replacement surgery i mean uh, however the procedure you can just write the procedure or the operation got delayed due to her venous leg ulcer which was confirmed by doppler studies in 29 october 2021 so just we wrote however the procedure got delayed due to her venous leg ulcer which was confirmed by doppler studies in 29 october 2021 the date is important because the patient uh, is scheduled for surgery uh, in november 2021 but this venous leg ulcer is diagnosed on i mean was diagnosed on october 2021 so that's why they it got delayed and uh, yeah then we, now we will go to the hospitalization now we can try for which she was treated with the compression bandaging at home so at that time there was no uh, admission just they have um, uh, explained or um, like advised for compression bandaging at home then we can write subsequently she presented with the definitive symptoms of her diagnosis and was admitted to the ward on 3 january 2022 here actually no need to write all signs and symptoms during the admission because for now actually we wrote all old stories is already uh, got uh, it's got um, diagnosed uh, from diagnosed with the doppler studies this and all uh, it's clear that already patient got admitted with um, uh, venous leg ulcer and uh, cellulite is also got confirmed so no need for irrelevant data and um, another one more thing we are writing to the nurse head of head of community health nurses so no need to write like elaborately what all the signs and symptoms during admission we can just write subsequently she presented with the definitive symptoms of her diagnosis definitely symptom is already the condition got confirmed if it is suspected cases we can write suggestive symptoms okay suggestive symptoms are definitive symptoms just now mark mark that uh, wordings then and was admitted to the ward on 3 january 2022 so this much you can write it in one paragraph and in the next paragraph we can write the remaining thing during hospitalization okay i can write during hospitalization mrs boswell has been managed with the injection flucloxacin comma one gram comma four times daily so um, there is one role for the medications we have to keep comma in uh, after the name uh, the dose dosage frequency everything and if there are more than three um, medications you can just put a semicolon after the first medication then you can write the second medication list then you can write and 
okay so that is the one and in description i have uh, given many uh, links for my youtube videos it's related to uh, relevant data regarding oit writing so if you have any doubts you can refer that one also regarding the medication how to write and passive voice and however even though the use of however and even though and many things i have given even though it updates also so you can just refer there then we can write um along with so first we started with injection fluclosacillin then we can write along with ibuprofen and omeprazole the dose dosage and no need because now we are not continuing with these things now we are continuing with the antibiotic only and her ulcer has been uh, treated with non adherent dressing with the padding to absorb exudate and toy to knee bandaging so this everything we can write it in one sentence her ulcer has uh, has been why we are writing has been means because still patient is on dressing if it is finished we can write she was managed or she was treated but still patient is on dressing and we need to continue and this is one of the recommendation means we have to just write has been okay so we can write has her as has been treated with non adherent dressing with the padding to absorb exudate and toy to knee bandaging then which needs to be changed every two days so there's already they have given so we can just write it here so no need to repeat it in the recommendation paragraph which needs to be changed every two days and before which there is no comma only before for which there is comma then gradually comma her mobilization was assisted with walking aid and today comma she is ready for discharge so that's the simple way we can just sum uh the hospitalization that means gradually her mobilization was assisted with the walking aid and today she is ready for discharge uh discharge with so here another one more thing we can add regarding discharge medication either you can write here or you can write it in the end of present medical paragraph with the please not or uh, off not or kindly not like that so it is easy here we can just write uh, like in the continuation assisted with the walking aid and today she is ready for discharge with the um oral flu uh, flucloxacillin comma 500 mg comma for tablets for 7 days so because that injection has been changed to oral that's why we have to just write oral and some student they used to write tab uh, instead of tablet you can write either tablet or oral but don't write tab dot okay then uh we can just uh, sum up that is a conclusion what i told you before uh, therefore an ongoing care from your facility is essential until her complete recovery so this is optional if you can write you can write if the work count is less than 200 uh, means you can write no problem then we will go to the social paragraph uh, mrs boswell is a widow and retired hotel receptionist so here you have uh, some confusion whether we have to write personal history first or you have to write the uh, medical history first always to start with the personal history that is my suggestion and Um, in that marital status you can just mention starting itself okay so mrs boswell is a widow and retired hotel receptionist and here you have to just mention about hypertension because arthritis is already we have mentioned so she has had hypertension since 2006 and on amlodipine comma 5 uh, mg comma daily then she is on paracetamol for uh, her arthritis as required that one just only the medication we can mention here because in the introduction actually in the present medical paragraph we didn't write about paracetamol so here you can mention that one also so i hope it's clear then we will go to the recommendation paragraph uh, you can start with uh, it would be appreciated if you could or you can start with kindly or you can start with um, from above information so it's up to you so just i started with kindly kindly reassess miss boswells apostrophe s boswells dressing as her condition improves and tolerates to completion therapy please monitor her risk for pressure ulcer and order cushions if required so this pressure ulcer and cushion it is related uh, things so you can just add together and make a we can sentence like a single sentence and regarding the dressing you can just write separately then um, same as uh, commonly we will write if you have any queries please do not hesitate to contact me and here they have given the reader name so yours sincerely you can write a registered nurse or you can just write the designation what's given in the case not like charge nurse or a head nurse or whatever it's given and uh, in the reserve i mean in the recommendation paragraph uh, there will be one confusion or uh, most of the time students used to forget to write patient's name so remember each and every paragraph uh the starting should be patient's name i mean the surname uh like uh, kindly reassess re- miss uh, boswell's dressing don't write kindly reassess her dressing 
it should be with the patient's uh, name only and uh, after writing everything just go through once again that is proofreading if you don't know what is proofreading how to do just uh, see the description i have given the link and um, why it's important means because uh, in most of the students later i can see that the gender changes instead of her he instead of uh, he they will write she so this her him this everything it is quite natural we will miss because more things are uh, preoccupied in our mind when we are writing the letter maybe you are reading topics or maybe you are listening topics or you are previous uh, writing topics everything so it, you will mix up with every ideas so uh, when if you are doing the uh, proofreading after each sentence after each paragraph just go through the uh, read i uh, go through the writing what you wrote in the letter and after completion of your letter just go through that means just a quick read that is our proofreading at that time you can come to know that what are the mistakes you have done sometimes you will write to has to had instead of has had maybe it only has has and sometimes instead of was there is uh, is or instead of has been heard and was something like that and sometimes you may miss passive voice you may um you may write their active voice so these all uh simple simple things um, you can correct by using the proofreading and of course mostly you will not get a time for proofreading if you didn't use the time wisely so just um uh read correctly your case note what how i how i read for you and in the same way and underline you can just underline but no need to write anything don't write anything in your case note just underline no problem then just make a story and start writing early without any delay if you have any problem in the introduction just leave it there write all your uh, letter at the end you can just see the present medical paragraph what is the content just concise and write it in the present medical par uh, 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 in the introduction okay so introduction means that recent present medical condition sometimes you will get confusion so just you see the present medical paragraph what you have elaborated there the concise form is the one present medical condition so like that also you can just um, uh, save the time don't um, be panic just relax and write your letter and uh, and your presentation also um the handwriting and the letter size this everything also you have to keep it in your mind it is not a big uh, factor but even though you can just keep it in your mind to uh, present neatly so i hope this lecture is uh, clear for you just um, start writing in this way i hope it will be helpful for you to get b score and uh, we will see with another one informative video and then bye take care